<laughs> I'm gonna go to the bathroom real quick, and then I can go home. Okay. I swear to God, Ava, it's not funny. Stop with those jokes. You know who came there? Hello, hello, I need help. My friend, she's dead. She's been killed. Yes, please send someone. No, I'm begging you, send someone. Tell me your name and your current location. Yes, of course, my name's Claire. I'm in my school and it's in the... Okay, so we know that the killer has probably only killed two people. Those girls that we still don't know the names of, but I mean, they probably will publish them later. Claire and Ava, we used to be best friends in middle school. Oh, I'm really sorry, Kenza. Yeah. Okay, so now we know the names of the victims, but we still don't know who the killer that killed both of them could be. And... Did I see something bad? No, it's okay, I'll go see if she's alright. Is everything okay? Um, is it me or Kenzie's acting a bit off? Well, it's probably because Claire and Ava were killed. Yeah, but like, don't you think she's maybe hiding something? Honestly, I don't give a fuck if she's hiding something. So should you, Gigi. Can I show you something? Yeah, sure. I got after Claire Nail was killed. Revenge? Kenzo, what should you do? Look, I have done bad things before. But what's so bad that I do for the killer to get so mad at me? Have you told them about this? Kenza, you should tell them. Yeah. Gigi's trying to figure out who the killer is, isn't she? Yep. Then we should help her. There's something that I need to show you guys. I got after Claire and Ava killed. And before this message, I was going home from school when I saw Claire in the hallway sitting alone waiting for Ava. I wanted to ask them to go home with me together, but I didn't. Maybe if I did, both of them would be alive right now. He wants to pay back. Yeah for something that I don't remember doing. Oh my gosh. Were you gonna die? No. I, I don't wanna die, Zola, not yet. Zola, Zola, we're not gonna die. Look, I'm not gonna let you guys fucking die because of me. So please, please, please stop crying, Zoe. Kenza? Kenza, why is that guy in a mask walking towards us? Run! What is going on? That's the fucking killer behind you! Zoe? Zoe, come on, stand up! Okay. Zoe, stand up! Zoe, there's, there's a killer behind you! Stand, stand up! No! no, 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 no. I think Stephanie! I think Stephanie! I think Stephanie! No.
least now know how the killer looks like. Okay, I'll shut up. She died because of me. I'm the reason she's dead. And the I have to stop the killings before I lose everyone else. Well, you're not gonna do that alone. We'll do it together. We'll find this killer and we'll make sure no one else gets hurt. We're a team. We've got each other's backs no matter what. A forest we used to hang out in all the time when we were younger. Yeah, we know this forest the best. Guys, are you sure we should be here? This forest always gave me chills. You also gave me chills. What did you say? You heard me. Annika, what the fuck is wrong with you? Oh, nothing is wrong with me. What the fuck? Hey, 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 hey. What the fuck, guys? Seriously? Come on, let's go. I don't have much time. Jesus, Annika. What I even do? You touch her again. See what happens. Okay. So what we know is that the killer only kills the ones that is the most important to me, right? Okay, so that means we're not safe. Not anymore. Wait. Guys, where is Gigi? Gigi! What the fuck? Gigi! Gigi! Gigi, come on! Gigi, wake up! Don't die on me, please! Gigi, wake up! Gigi? Gigi! No, 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 Gigi! Gigi, wake up! Gigi! Sorry, Hanuk. Sorry, I couldn't see you. Yeah, you should be. Because you're the reason she's dead. I know, I'm sorry. Sorry's not gonna fix anything, Kenza. I know. Gigi was my best friend. Well, guess what, Annika? Grace is also my best friend. And I'm trying to keep her and you all safe. I know that Claire, Ava, Zoe, and Gigi died because of me. But you know what? I wish that I was the one who's dead. Cause the asshole keeps killing people of some shit that I don't remember doing. Ha! Huh. Well maybe you shouldn't have done that shit. Maybe then my best friend would have been alive. Or Claire, Ava, and Zoe, they all could have been alive right now. But no they're not! Because you're the reason. You are the reason there's a killer that wants to kill us all. Well maybe next time you should think before doing something that could change our lives and cause us pain. You stupid little bitch! Can't she get in her stupid little brain that I'm trying to keep you and all of us alive? But what you do, you just keep talking shit and you do nothing. So if you could please shut the fuck up around and help us do something before I'll kill you myself. Miranda. I'm sorry, Anna, go for point. I just don't know what's happening. I mean, I'm so fucking tired. Did you hear that? Yeah. Stay here. Kenza, what are you doing? Kenza! Be quiet. Shit, we have to go right now! Let's go, let's go, let's go! That's the fucking killer here! No! He's behind you! What? Shit! Hey, ask! Fuck! Well, I had to do something. You could have also gotten killed. For God's sake, you care about yourself and not me? 
You're dumb. Annika, she left. She finally did. It's not funny. We have to find her. We have to stick together or else she might get killed. Guys, I can go find her. <laughs> she literally just said we have to stick together. Just trust me, I'll be fine. Piper, there's a killer that wants to kill all of you. And you're saying you'll be fine? Oh my gosh, Kenza, just trust me. Can you do that? You have to call me. If anything happens, you need to call me. Okay, I'll call you. Come on, Annika. Shit, she's not answering. Call Piper. She's not answering either. What happened? What is it? Am I a bad best friend? No, you're the best best friend I could ever have. I couldn't save them. No matter how hard I try, I couldn't. I'm too weak for this. And I'm so fucking tired of losing people. And I promise you, I, 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 I tried my best. I just wanted all to fucking end. Dear Grace, I keep having those nightmares and I can't believe I've gone. Every day without you feels so empty. I keep thinking you walk through the door and this nightmare will be over. I still don't know why you guys had to die that day and not me. Seeing you die in front of me and holding your dead body will forever haunt me. I don't know how to do this without you. You are my rock and I'm just lost here trying to make sense of why you had to leave so soon. I hope you knew how much you meant to me. As I sit here with this paper trembling in my hands, I feel her absence deeply. This letter is a poor replacement for the conversations we should be having. I'm reading words that are meant for you, my friend, hoping that you can feel the love and the pain that's pouring out of my heart. You weren't just a part of my life, you are a piece of my soul. I'll keep talking to you here, hoping that you're listening from somewhere beyond. You always have this incredible way of seeing the beauty and everything. Remember how you find the silver lining, no matter how dark the clouds were? That's what I'm trying to do now, to see the world through your eyes. You taught me so much about kindness, about courage, about love. You live on in those lessons in every person you've touched. And I promise to carry that form as best as I can for both of us. Um, I remember when we used to sit by the river just talking for hours. You had this way of making even the simplest moments feel magical. I miss those conversations, your laughter and your unwavering support. Life feels, life feels different without you here. But I carry your spirit with me. I'll keep sharing stories, making memories of my life to the fullest. Just like you would want me to. You'll always be a part of me. And you'll always be my best friend. Your shitty best friend, Kenza.
How was it? I cried. Well, you're the one who killed her. Yeah, well, I didn't have a choice and she was my best friend. You had a choice, Kenza. My choice was to kill or be killed. And I didn't want neither of that, even though I was the one who planned the killings. But I knew if I didn't kill Grace, then I would have killed more than my friends. Even though I was the one who planned the killings. And you were also so fucking jealous of me and Grace being best friends. And you were also so mad at her that I chose Grace as my best friend and not you. Look, I don't care that she was your best friend. All I care about is who we're gonna kill next. Let's find out who's gonna die next.